hello hello all welcome back to my youtube channel enjoy learning for today's video we are going to do synthesis of catecholamines so for the synthesis of catecholamines first we should know what do you mean by catecholamine so catecholamine it is made up of two words the first one it is called as catechol and the second word it is called as amine so catechol you should know the structure for catechol so catechol it is ha it has benzene ring which is attached to two hydroxyl groups okay this is a catechol structure and then we have amine okay so amine it is nh2 so togetherly it is called as catechol amine we have examples of catechol amines the three examples are the first one it is dopamine then we have norepinephrine and the last one it is epinephrine norepinephrine it is also called as noradrenaline and epinephrine it is also called as adrenaline all these three they contain a catechol nucleus in them and hence the name is catechol amines now synthesis of catechol amines it is going to take place using tyrosine okay so tyrosine it is a starting material this tyrosine it is an amino acid amino acid it is going to undergo breakdown to form these catecholamines which are dopamine norepinephrine and epinephrine so breakdown of tyrosine into catecholamines it can also be called as metabolism okay so the metabolism of tyrosine it leads into formation of catecholamines so we can also say synthesis of catecholamines as metabolism of tyrosine now we will see how this metabolism of tyrosine or synthesis of catecholamines takes place so we should first know the structure of tyrosine Okay, so structure of tyrosine, we are going to draw first phenyl attached to hydroxyl group, then CH2, CH, and as it is an amino acid, we are going to draw acid and amino group. So this is amino acid tyrosine. Tyrosine by use of the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase as we are saying hydroxylase enzyme hydroxyl group it is going to get added on the tyrosine residue so we are going first going to write down the structure for tyrosine as such And add hydroxyl group so hydroxyl group will be added on the tyrosine residue and there will be formation of dopa the full form of dopa it is dihydroxy phenyl alanine now this dopa which has been formed it is going to undergo decarboxylation decarboxylation means there is going to be removal of carbon dioxide co2 by use of the enzyme aromatic amino acid decarboxylase Okay, now when you look at the structure for dopa you can clearly see there is an acid over here from this acid there will be removal of co2 so the structure as such we are going to write down eliminating carbon dioxide 
CH2, CH, NH2. Now, hydrogen it is remaining, which we are going to add on CH to form CH2. So, this structure it is called as dopamine. So, dopamine, this is our first catecholamine which is formed. Now, dopamine by use of the enzyme. dopamine beta hydroxylase beta hydroxylase it is going to get converted into the second catecholamine that is norepinephrine over here you are going to remember the enzyme that is hydroxylase this hydroxylase enzyme means there is going to be addition of hydroxyl group on the beta carbon atom so where is the beta carbon atom so amine the carbon atom which is attached to the amine that is going to be alpha carbon atom and the second carbon atom it is going to be the beta carbon atom so on the beta carbon atom there will be addition of hydroxyl group so again draw the previous structure hydroxyl group so this is the catechol nucleus. Now as we are going to add hydroxyl group, we are going to write down one hydrogen atom less. So the CHOH, then CH2 as such, and NH2 which is attached to it as such. So this structure it is called as nor epinephrine. Norepinephrine, it is also called as noradrenaline. Noradrenaline. Now, noradrenaline or norepinephrine, by use of the enzyme phenyl. ethanol amine n methyl transferase transferase okay so you have the enzyme phenyl ethanol methyl ethanol amine n methyl transferase by use of this enzyme methyl will be added on the nitrogen okay so look at the previous structure in the previous structure we have amine okay so on this amine you have nitro you have nitrogen so on this nitrogen there will be addition of methyl okay so look at the structure which is formed so the previous structure of norepinephrine we are going to write down as such. Only change is going to take place on the terminal nitrogen atom. So you have CH2 nitrogen, the first hydrogen of the nitrogen and the second one it will be substituted with CH3. This is called as epinephrine. Epinephrine, it is also called as adrenaline. So this is how we have synthesized three catecholamines. The first one is dopamine. Second one is norepinephrine. And the third one it is adrenaline okay so this is the simple synthesis of catecholamines or the metabolism of tyrosine hope you all you have understood with the synthesis of catecholamines if you like the video kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have any queries 
then you can write in the chat box thank you all